In this video, we will talk about systems of equations and how to solve the systems of equations through graphing. Recall that the solution to an equation is any point on the line. So for example, if we took this equation y equals 2x and we graphed it on our coordinate plane here, the solution to that equation would be any point that um, is actually on that line. So let's go ahead and graph it. Um, it's already in uh, y, um, slope intercept form. So we know that this is a proportional situation because um, our y-intercept is 0, so 0, 0. Um, our slope is 2, so I'm going to go up 2 to the right 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, I'll down 2 to the left. All right, so you get the idea. So here is our line right here. So the solution would be any of these points along the line. I could say that um, a solution is 0, 0 because that falls on the line. I could say another solution is 1, 2. That falls on the line. Um, I could say another solution is negative 1, negative 2 because that falls on the line. So any of these points that fall along the line would be considered solutions. All right, now consider this. What if you don't have just one equation? What if you have um, multiple equations. Well, a system of equations is a set of two or more equations. Two or more equations such as right here. This would be a system of equations. The solution to the system of equations would be any point that lies on all equations, or in this case, both equations. So let's go ahead and graph the first equation, 3x minus 2. I have a y-intercept of negative 2, a slope of 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, down 3, 1. Okay, so here is my first line. Now let's go ahead and graph the uh, next line. So that is negative x minus 6. So I have a y-intercept of negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And my slope is negative 1, so I'm going to go down 1 over 1. Okay, up 1 to the right. Okay, so we see what's happening here. So again, the solution is any point that lies on all equations. Well, in this particular uh, situation, these um, equations intersect, and they intersect right here at the point negative 1, negative 5. So the point negative 1, negative 5 is the solution because that is the point that lies on both equations. That is the point that lies on both equations. Therefore, it's the solution to the system. Now, we just solved those uh, that set, set of um, equations, the system of equations, by graphing. You can also always check your solutions algebraically, and the solution to the system will always satisfy both equations. So we just said that the solution was negative 1, negative 5. So all we have to do is plug in negative 5 for y. So negative 5 equals um, 3 times negative 1 for x minus 2. So negative 5 equals negative 3 minus 2. And yes, negative 5 does uh, balance with negative 5. So this solution right here, negative 1, negative 5, definitely worked for the first equation. Now let's go ahead and check the next one. I'll use a different color. Um, negative 5 equals negative a negative 1 minus 6. So negative 5 equals positive 1 minus 6. Oops, got ahead of myself. Negative 6 and negative 5. 1 minus 6 is negative 5, so that checks out. So yes, um, this is definitely the solution to the set of equations. We solved it uh, graphically as well as, as algebraically. Now, make sure that you have paused, that you have um, taken good notes, that you have your summary. Um, here are some further 
thoughts to ponder that we will further discuss in class. What would be the solution to a system if the two equations produce the same line? Maybe the equations are different, but they produce the same line. What would then be the solution? And what would be the solution to a system if the two equations never intersect? Just some things to think about.